Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're just gonna do a diagnose on this 2020 Honda Venue. Uh, apparently, they're saying that the horn is not working. Um, so they ordered the horn, but we'll just verify our circuits that everything is working, and we'll see from there. So here's our um, wiring diagram for our horn. Um, so we can see there that we have a 15 amp fuse, we relay our horn and our clock spring. So we'll just go check our fuse first because this is the easiest one. Because the horn location will be on the, I think, I don't know if we can access that. If we're gonna remove our fender liner, uh, it's at the bottom of the headlight. So let's go check our. Um, We'll go check our controls here on this um, relay and our fuse. So right now we're at the engine bay, junction box. So we're gonna look for our horn. Now we're gonna see the 15 amp. So that's gonna be on this side here. So we're just gonna check with our test light quick. Power there, other side power, which is good. Now we're just gonna double check our control. That at least we can eliminate if it's a clock spring problem, our switch, or it's gonna be our component, right? So I'm just gonna remove our relay, horn relay. So that's gonna be this guy here. So that's gonna be one, two. So this orange one, huh? So I don't know. Can you follow that? That's the So our relay. So that should be. We'll get power all the time. Switch, switch. Okay. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> our relay looks like. Oh, where are you? So our relay here. This is my first time to see this three pins on the relay. Okay. So, I think, I don't know if you will hear that too. that when I press my horn on the steering wheel, I can hear our switch is clicking. So, so our relay is clicking. That means I think we have a good um, switch there from the horn. So I'm just gonna go straight to our, um, on our component, the horn itself. I will check our power there. So I'm just gonna remove our left front tire. So we can just access our horn.
So there's our horn there. So I'm just gonna remove our connector. So now I'm just going to put the test light there and see if our circuit is good. So I'm just going to activate our steering wheel. That lights on, meaning our circuit is good. Yep. Okay, so needs a horn. Okay, I'm just gonna press our horn there. Okay. So now that works. So I know it's just a circuit, um, simple circuit testing. Uh, we're just dealing two wires for that component. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you. See you next time. Thank you for watching.